So Minnesota Vikings rookie quarterback J.J. McCarthy done for 2024 due to a complete torn meniscus in his knee. Uh, we'll have season-ending surgery. So McCarthy will not even play a D NFL down during his rookie campaign. This is a fantasy sports boss with the fantasy fallout for J.J. McCarthy's injury. Now make sure if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Got a lot of new subscribers lately. Hopefully you're one of them. Um, and listen, as far as McCarthy, like, this is just a bummer. Like, you don't want to see this ever from a young player uh, just coming into the league, especially one that carries decent promise like McCarthy has. He looked good in the first preseason game. There were questions coming into the NFL about how prepared he was because this was a run-based offense in Michigan. Um, but listen, he won national championship, um, showed good accuracy, got the ball out quickly. And those are good traits that usually translate well to the NFL level. And again, we saw McCarthy play well in the preseason opener, but now he's not a story until 2025 due to the tear, the complete tear of his, of his meniscus. And now the fantasy fallout here is that Sam Darnold's going to ascend to the full-time starter. And Sam Darnold's already become a journeyman, he, you know, of course, washed out with the Jets, went to Carolina, San Francisco, and now he's with, um, you know, the uh, Minnesota Vikings here, getting another chance to start. So, um, this is a really a last gasp shot for Darnold to get his career back on track. Now he did play well at, you know, when he did get on the field, uh, fairly well with the 49ers last year. And even when he was with the Carolina Panthers, um, to, to start the 2022 season, he played fairly well. He's rushing for some touchdowns, um, looked pretty poised, but of course, you know, things eventually, uh, fell by the wayside there as well. Um, but now he gets to pilot what is a very impressive array of offensive talent led by Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, and uh, Aaron Jones, Ty Chandler running back, TJ Hawkinson eventually will come back. Now, I'm not saying Sam Darnold has any fantasy value. In, in super flex leagues, maybe you can look at him um, as like a desperate last guess uh, um, option there. <clears throat> but in single quarterback leagues, you're not going to bother with Sam Darnold. Now, here's the thing. I actually believe that this is Darnold starting and not J.J. McCarthy is slightly worse news for Justin Jefferson. Now, hear me out. You're going to say Justin Jefferson is quarterback proof. Look what he did with Nick Mullins and Josh Dobbs last year. And that's absolutely true. But if I had to choose which quarterback I would prefer to be throwing Justin Jefferson in order to unlock more fantasy points, it would be J.J. McCarthy. Uh, we've seen the Sam Darnold show before. It hasn't been good. And Sam Darnold has never really um, buffeted a wide receiver one in fantasy football. His previous, during his stint with the Jets, uh, his leading receivers were Robbie Anderson once, uh, Jameson Crowder t uh, twice, and wide receiver 26, which I believe was Jameson Crowder, uh, that was the highest you know, ranking fantasy points-wise for a wide receiver under Darnold, uh, Darnold's time uh, with the Jets. All right, So two years, Crowder was the leading receiver. Wide receiver 26 was the highest he got, and then Robbie Anderson, I believe, was wide receiver 39 uh, when he was leading the Jets one year with Darnold. Now, when DJ Moore... Uh, in Carolina, he was ascended to wide receiver 18. Still not great. I mean, it is top 20, but just not a great number there. So can Sam Darnold support a wide receiver one in Justin Jefferson? I think just based on the sheer talent of Jefferson, yes, he will get there. But if you want to start splitting hairs and maybe make a tie break between Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase and Amon Ross St. Brown, I'm taking St. Brown and, and Chase ahead of Jefferson just because of this quarterback issue uh, alone. So let me know what you think there. Uh, post in the comments below the J.J. McCarthy injury. What do you think this does for Justin Jefferson? Of course, more videos on the way, so stay tuned.